Good people, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Immigration Helper, where we discuss all things uh, life and legal. This is attorney Elizabeth Wafula, your favorite immigration attorney. I'm returning once again with your tip for this week. Uh, today, we're not discussing all things life like we discussed last week. Today, we're discussing all things legal, okay? And what am I referring to? I'm referring to the tweet that your president, you know, your president, I'm not sure, your president filed or posted a tweet last night. And guess what he said on the tweet? That because of, quote, the great unseen enemy that we are fighting right now, he is gonna, what is he trying to do? He is trying to ban all immigration all across the board temporarily because of COVID-19. And when I mean all across the board, I mean every single country is gonna be affected. This is not like the Trump ban that was passed two years ago that just had the seven Muslim countries, not like the one that, the new travel ban that was, uh, that, you know, that had, that added the six African countries that was in, uh, I think, January, or February this year. This is not like that. This one is affecting every single body. And so that leads me now to my tips or my points, okay? Tip number one, if you've been dragging your feet, I keep saying this, I'll say it again. If you've been dragging your feet now, 2020 is not the time to drag your feet. If you have a family member or someone you're thinking of bringing and you've been dragging your feet, you've been allowing other things to take precedence, now more than ever, I would say, let that person's immigration status take precedence. Make time for it. Make mm, funds available for it. whatever you can do to ensure you bring your loved one. If you have a loved one that you've been you've been contemplating on bringing, but you're dragging your feet, go ahead and do it. If you already started the process, but there's some things that are not right, or you, you're missing something here and there, or there's just something, you know, that has kind of delayed the process, uh, reach out to an immigration attorney. Uh, obtain the proper help get your loved one here as soon as possible that's number one number two uh, like I said uh, this is just right now a tweet it's just a tweet but as we know that's how our president functions he starts with tweets so next thing it may be a law okay so right now it's still being drafted it's not a law yet nothing to worry about yet but and the only reason I'm on here today talking about this is to kind of prepare your mind and to kind of give you a visual of what's coming in the future. Okay, so if it does become a law and you drag your feet and um, you have a family member to bring, right, who's not here, you may be stuck. This also applies to employers. Employers who are trying to bring immigrants here and are not moving quickly enough. You know? Or don't have the application in before this ban comes comes through or is passed whenever it is is passed then we are would be screwed uh number three I, I don't think if i was you if you're the optimistic type i would not think to my mind i would not think in my mind that hmm i don't think it's gonna pass it could not pass why because the fear behind covid19 is so rampant right now that Donald Trump may be onto something in a bad way, of course, but he may be onto something by trying to pass this right now. Why? Because, well, the fear is so high right now behind COVID 19 that people would actually not care about it, right? Yeah, and even if it's someone tries to fight this in Supreme Court, I don't know how um how easy it is going to, going to be to overturn it once it's passed as a law because again the fear behind covid-19 is just getting stronger and stronger and understandably because so many people are dying right and uh, it's just affected us in many ways possible um, i mean many ways in, in as many ways as we can think uh, and much more than we even know right uh, my fourth point is that um, as long as USCIS is, is as long as the local USCIS offices are open, then our offices are also open as well. As long as they are open, we're still open. Okay. So, 
that leads me to my fifth point. Our office, law office of E.M. Fula, is still open and we are still submitting cases like normal, all right? Uh, I hope this helps someone. Uh, if you have any questions or any concerns, as always, please call the number uh, listed on my YouTube channel or on my Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, 901-753-9499. Uh, do ask to schedule a phone consultation so that we can set aside a time particularly to speak with you uh, and get you squared away. Uh, obviously, because we get a lot of calls. I get a lot of calls. Uh, and yeah, I wish you the best. Stay safe. Stay strong. Uh, stay optimistic. Be blessed. And uh, see you guys next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>